Grace Lays, Coach Kazimov here. Today we're going to talk to you about getting you beach body ready. So let's go. Flutter kicks, legs up about six inches, kicking them up in the air. If you want a little added challenge, side to side. Lunges, kick out the leg as far as possible, running position, return back. Incline push up, beginner strength level. Build, increase that push up strength. Advanced decline push up, much more challenging. Single leg step up with press, complex movements, lower body, upper body, two things at once. Last but not least, jump rope, everyone's favorite. Double leg, single leg, one at a time, two at a time. Now you're one step closer to being summer bod ready. It's time to get this camera on out of here. But hey, first off, thanks for watching. Back to the studio. Hi, I'm Miss Hazelwood. I'm here today with my special guest, Mrs. Wolf, to Hello. show to show you the basics of a manicure on natural nails. So come with me on our nail journey. So you never want to saw back and forth. So you go side to side. Normally we would soak these first. So we file one way. Uh, this is a great cuticle oil. This is the cuticle, the skin at the base of the nail. After application of an oil or a cuticle remover, it should be pushed gently. Remember the golden rule. It's never supposed to hurt to get your nails done. Remove some of this product. Then you're ready for a base coat. So you do two coats of a base coat. Then you must seal it in with the top coat. Hi, I'm Big Vincy, the manicurist. I'm gonna do a manicure today for y'all. Just come on down. Hi, Hi. nice to see ya. Oh. Here, let me see what you got, Shug. Oh, lordy, lordy, what happened here? It's okay, Sugar, I can fix it. I can fix this for you. I'm Don't you worry. Guy. I'm a single Don't guy. Don't you worry, I'm gonna fix it right now. What, what? You one of them picky city boys? Yeah, okay, fine, fine. Here, just come on down. Don't be shy. Put your toe right here. Here, I'll fix it for you. There you go. There you go. That'll be $30, please. What? 30 <laughs> Hi guys, Ms. Chavez here, and today we're gonna do a DIY project, do it yourself. So we're gonna make some watercolor canvas pictures like these. So what we're gonna need today is we're gonna need a hot glue gun, um, some watercolors, of course, a paintbrush, some water for your watercolors, and a canvas or a piece of paper that you're gonna work on. So let's get started. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is we are going to start making our web. So I'm putting my hot glue like this. And I decided to make a spider web, so maybe this is something I wanna hang during Halloween on my front door or in my living room. So I'm just gonna make the spider web design like this. So now, as you can see, we have our cobweb and um, every area of hot glue is gonna keep the water separate so it doesn't start blending with each other. So let's start painting. So when you're done, you have something like this. So it's a watercolor rainbow cobweb. Super scary at Halloween. Have a good day, Grizzlies. Bye. Hey, we're gonna start. Wait, wait, wait. Yeah, go. Sorry. Good morning, Grizzlies. Welcome to teacher review of Fortnite. What you asked for, right? All right. First thing you have to do, you have to watch video of other people playing Fortnite. So let me get this up here. Looks like a bunch of running around. Okay, it looks like it's 
a game. All right? Um, people running around, virtual exercise, if that's something, maybe kids are uh, getting some exercise watching games. Um, I do have to listen to a bunch of youngsters with inappropriate school language. Yes. And you know what? I should be really doing uh, updating my grades, but I need to do more research. Some research. All right, kind of addicting. It might, might be some type of cult or something. I'll have to look into that, all right? This might be something the FBI might want to look into. What? What do you mean I didn't turn in my semester grades? Students, students don't need grades. All right, I got stuff to do. I give it a two out of 10. Never play again. Hey Grizzlies, this is Mr. Diliberto and you're watching Grizzly Teachers Got Talent. Today we'll be interviewing Miss Kelly and Miss Carter. Let's go. I've been doing it for about, really seriously, only about three years. It takes three, four hours. This is my specialty. My other specialty, I make dog sweaters. So out of these, this is my, oh wait, oh, no, I like this one. <laughs> this one's, <laughs> I like this one too because of the colors. It's actually very simple to make. But the colors turned out pretty cool. So these two, and I'm not gonna look anymore. I like them all. <laughs> um, a mattress weighs twice as much after 10 years as it did at the beginning. One fact, why? Because you lose 1.5 million skin cells every hour. So when you're sleeping an average of eight hours, you lose 12 million dead skin cells. They add up in your mattress and your mattress is heavier after 10 years, which is gross. Leonardo da Vinci invented scissors. Humans are pregnant for nine months. Elephants are pregnant for 22 months. So yes, women, it could be worse. That's it, that's my final trivial fact. Wait, there must be, no, I can't say that. Never mind. that's it. That's it for this week, Grizzlies. Thanks for watching. Hi, I'm Mrs. Sosa, and I'm here with Alex Montoya for our student highlight. So Alex, I see your schedule here. That I see that you have Mrs. Sosa for four of your seven classes. Why is that? Um, because I really like choir, but I, she also has a child development class, but you never know where she's really at because she could be here, here, there, there, like, you never know. Who's your favorite teacher here at Granite? Oh, um, she's kind of like gay high and blonde, and um, she wears keychains and it's, and um, oh, it's you. <laughs> <laughs> Which one makes your life the most difficult? You too. Am I supposed to laugh? <laughs> So Alex, what's the most embarrassing thing you have ever worn besides what you're wearing today? A dress. My mom made me wear a dress. So it's a well-known fact that the type of cheese you like the most tells a lot about the kind of person you are. So, with that being <laughs> what type of cheese is your favorite? String cheese. The one that you give me. I give you cheese? You don't give it to me. I steal it. Since we're talking about food, what's your favorite kind of pie, Alex? Ooh, I really love lemon meringue pie. It's really? The best. Really? Yes. So it happens that I have one right here. Well, hi there, Grizzlies. My name is Miss Lombardi, and I'm here today to talk to you about some animals. Today, we're going to talk about chickens. Chickens are known as domestic fowl. They're most useful for their eggs and for their meat. Let's go outside and take a look. If you're not consuming chickens for their meat, you're probably eating their eggs. Hens can produce eggs with or without roosters. Eggs produced without roosters are unfertilized. 
chickens are helpful to you because they love bugs and they even help keep your garden free from weeds by pecking out weed seeds and any dormant grubs in the soil. Chicken meat is really good for you. They contain a lot of amino acids. The essential amino acids found in chicken meat are arginine, lysine, methionine, cysteine, and tryptophan. Be careful of tryptophan because it might make you sleepy. You don't want to fall asleep in class. That's it for this week's segment, Grizzlies. Thanks for watching. technology. Little history uh, tech lesson. Uh, the first phone was actually created by Alexander Graham Bell in 1876. And you know what? It was only used to talk. No texting, no Snapchat, no watching TV or movies. Actually, the, the internet it wasn't even invented until 1991, 27 years ago, and not by Al Gore. If you wanted to listen to music or watch movies, you actually had two devices. You had your iPod or your CD player. I think probably you guys were way too young for uh, tape players, but you had your CD player. And you only had like 12 songs that you could listen to. Uh, not unlimited like we have now. It wasn't really until 2007 that the iPhone was created that changed everything. Same year, Netflix started streaming movies. And so you didn't even have to go to the store to rent a movie. I know people still do Redbox, but think about it. You have Netflix, you don't even have to leave your house or you don't even have to be at your house. And you can just sit anywhere uh, streaming and watching on the block. So technology has completely changed in such a short amount of time. You guys are so lucky. You don't even know how lucky and how good you have it. I don't know what the future's gonna hold. Maybe robots will make my coffee. Maybe they already do. You know, if I could only have them do my homework, life would be amazing. So I'm super excited, Grizzlies. Let's see what uh, the next couple years have when it comes to technology. Hey, Grizzlies, that's your show for today. This, this has, has been, been vital information for your everyday, everyday life. life. Should we go get them now? Uh, let's leave them in there for a while. Keep them locked. Yeah, they're locked fired up. that way. Let's do that. Easier to teach.